All right, guys, what's going on? So today is Monday. The Black Friday style for Gymshark is about to start. My hair is super bad, and so is my facial hair. I haven't shaved, no shave in November. It's annoying. I'm probably going to shave soon, though, because it's to the point where it's terrible. However, that's not the point of this video. The Gymshark sale is literally 38, 37, less than about 30 seconds away now. So I'm about to make my cart and show you everything I'm about to get. I'm not going to film any of it because this is about to be really intense, and I'm about to just focus and zone in right now onto what I'm about to purchase. Um, I put money in the bank so I'm chilling I can get whatever I want. So it is literally less than 20 seconds away. I'm about to go do the sale so I'll show you my cart after my purchase of everything I'm gonna get. Um, hopefully nothing sells out. Um, Alright guys I wish you the best of luck. I hope you got everything you wanted but I'm about to start. This is also gonna be a try on and a haul so this is gonna take a really long time to come out but it's about to start so I'll see you guys then. Alright, it's been like two hours since the launch happened, like exactly, and I finally just now was able to finish getting my order in. It was taking forever to even get me to my cart, but um, let's see here. I'm going to try to show you without showing you my information. Alright, this is everything we were able to pick up. Um, hold on, literally the lighting looks terrible. You can see that. So we got two Apollo shirts. If it would focus. Jesus Christ. Oh my gosh. And the Hypersport, okay, this is literally terrible autofocus right now. Hypersport t-shirts, shorts, joggers. We were able to get a decent amount of stuff. We were get the info stringer though. So that was one of the most desired items by me is a red um, info stringer that I've been waiting literally since the release of it to buy. And I wasn't able to get it the first time, but I got the black and white one, which, eh, they're all right. Like the fits, don't like the colors, but we were able to get everything to go through, so... Now it is a 7 to 10 day wait for everything so you guys will see me when I get everything and it'll feel like a second to you guys but for me it'll be a week to 10 days so that's exciting stuff but alright you guys will see me with my clothes in a little bit. So as you can see I'm wanting the Gymshark package. Low key I've had everything in here for a really long time already it's already been like over a week, almost two weeks now, I'm pretty sure that I've had this package, so it's been a bit. It's already open. I already have everything in here. I just kind of needed a thumbnail because I never got one. This is literally like super duper overdue, super late. As you can see this though, this is actually a fat package. This was like 12 items of things for Black Friday. So I actually did get a whole bunch of stuff for Black Friday. Um, so without further ado, let's get into the Black Friday haul that I've been meaning to do for like a really long time now that I've been not even procrastinating on, mostly I've just been busy and every chance I have I usually spend sleeping or editing a, a video, just I haven't managed my time or had enough time, actually not even also, not like also along with that, like not only is that a factor, but literally my mom has just been like, uh, si not sick, but like she had like something going on um, where she like didn't go to work um, because she was like injured I guess, so she stayed in like the living room so I couldn't film in here and that's basically one reason why like one whole week I wasn't able to do it and then that's just one week why I didn't do it and then the other week was just me being me but enough of me talking explaining um let's get right into everything we've got in this package and I might try everything on I'll see how I feel as I continue to switch outfits but all right let's just go through everything I've got basically so here we go. These are the horse joggers. I don't think you can really see much detailing. It's got kind of like a reflective logo. Not super reflective, like crazy. It's really nice though. I actually have worn these. Most of the stuff in here I have worn. I will tell you which ones I haven't, but I have worn the horse joggers. I love the horse joggers. These are actually super duper nice. Probably some of my favorite joggers, even compared to Alpha Leach joggers. Um, nice cuffing, really comfortable, not tight or anything. Just really comfortable joggers. I really like these joggers. I'll put them on in a second after I go through everything and then I'll try some of them on for you guys so you guys can see what they look like on me. Um, okay, this shirt, I love this shirt. The black t-shirt, this is, I don't even know how you pronounce the name of this shirt, like color, but this shirt I wanted for so long after seeing a picture of Chris Bumstead inside of a stringer of this color. This shirt, I love it, wear all the time. Really like that shirt. Um, this shirt, the Apollo shirts, I think these are what these called. 
this is already rugged. I literally wore it last night to the gym session that you guys will see whenever I decide to edit that and put that out. But I love this shirt. I wear it pretty often as well as that shirt. Um, I love these shirts. I was really excited for these. I did want to get a few more of these shirts, but most of them sold out. So I was only able to get this one and you'll see the other color I got. These and everything though. Okay. These are the Ray Joggers. These are actually super nice. The, uh, they might look really similar to the other ones, except the difference being like the zippers have like this weird thing on it. You can see that it's like really weird. Never seen that on joggers before. Nice little touch though, keep it unique, I guess. Um, and this says Gymshark vertically on the side. The other one has a logo. This one says it in dark, so you can't really see it, but it's nice subtle details. And then these got like little buttons on the bottom. And at first, I was kind of like turned off by them. Also, like, if you can see that, I don't know if you can see it, but it says Gymshark on the sides, which on this side, and it's got like a rubbery material. It's really cool. Um, at first, I, was, I wasn't really the biggest fan of this, this um, little detail, because I thought it was just like whatever, just cuffing, because there is also cuffing on this. Um, but for me, I do not have the biggest calves, um, and yet taking these off, without these buttons is nearly impossible. Um, so the cuffing is actually really tight on the bottoms, but that is what this buttoning is for, is you unbutton when you're taking them off. You can put them on without the buttoning, like you don't have to unbutton them, but I say put, taking them off is almost nearly impossible for me to take off when I'm in a rush, especially without the buttons. So the buttons do come in handy. You don't think about them until you have to use them. So that's a nice little touch to keep those ones different. Pick this up real quick. I have yet to wear this. Because like I said, I've been wearing, I've been waiting to do this video, so I haven't worn every item in here yet. I've worn most. This is the Arrival Long Sleeve Tee in Charcoal. I have a black and a blue one. I actually really ended up liking these shirts, so I ended up getting myself another long sleeve in charcoal, because why the heck not? I like these shirts. I use them for leg days, and they're just not bad. They fit comfortably. Um, I did want t-shirts, but I ended up not getting any. Wish I had, but oh well. Um, this is a base layer, not tank top base layer t-shirt and I actually do like this shirt the only thing I don't like is that I not not even complain with the shirt just I'm personally right now since I'm like in a little bulky state I do have a little bit of gut so since it's like a skin tight shirt since this is um I forgot what the exact name of that fabric is but since it's like skin tight it does make me feel fat I'm not saying I'm fat like yeah that's just like a feeling I get when I wear this so I do like to wear like a tank top over this but I do really like this this is actually I hit 455 on deadlift with this, with a shirt over it. I actually do really like this, so definitely don't regret buying this. David Lade, thank you for uh, shouting that out in your video, because I wouldn't have bought it if you hadn't said anything, and I do like it. This item right here I've been waiting to buy for the longest, the Info Stringer in red. I like the black one. I don't really like the white one. Again, this is already like all messed up because I already wore it. It was in my gym bag, but I just pulled it out just to um, make the video. I really wanted this one. It's my only red stringer I have. And you can see the color difference in reds between Gymshark and Alphalete, but this is, I don't even know, Flame Red or something like that, but really wanted this, really happy with it, love the stringer. Um, let's see what else we got here. Now on to some of the shorts. We I do have another shirt in there. I think I have two more shirts. This is the Reset shorts. Um, I did actually really want these for a while, but I was hesitant to get them because I didn't know how they would look. I actually do wear these quite a bit, and I do like them. Um, it's got like three different shades on there. It's got like a gray line up here, and then the white's on the side. Um, the white is a little transparent, like if you put your hand to it, but if you're wearing underwear, it's not like it's going to matter. If you're going commando to the gym in shorts and you're a guy, you're really weird, so don't be that guy. But I like these shorts. Reset shorts, 10 out of 10. Would recommend. Any of the shorts from Gymshark. Gymshark has mastered their short game. I would say I haven't got a single pair of shorts that I haven't liked. They're all got their own uses for them. These I have yet to wear. Still have the tag on. These are the contemporary shorts. They feel nice. They're like a thicker. All of these shorts have zippers, by the way. So I, I'm obviously, I, if you haven't seen any of my other haul videos or anything, I'm a fanatic of shorts with zippers or joggers with zippers. Zippers are just really useful. Like if you want to go on a run, put your phone in there, zip it up. It's not falling out. It's just, I like that little touch. So contemporary shorts I haven't worn them yet but they have like that same logo as the force shorts or force joggers so these are nice I haven't tried them on yet 
been saving most of this stuff for the video, but I have worn some of it because I couldn't wait. Um, what else do we got? Might as well. And then this is the blue shirt, the Apollo shirt that I said I would show you guys the other color I got. I got blue and red. I wanted to get navy blue. I wanted to get some of the long sleeves, but the long sleeves sold out extremely quickly. So I got myself a blue one. Have yet to wear it. Still got the tag on. I've been waiting to wear this though. So I will that. Yeah, I'll be able to wear that now that I'm doing this video. Um, let's see what else we got here. These are the Hyper Sport shorts, which I have genuinely been wanting to get ever since I've been buying Gymshark. Is these shorts just genuinely looked really appealing to me. Um, they sounded really fancy by the name Hypersport. Just sounds like, oh, I'm an athletic guy. It sounds like an athletic pair of shorts. Why not buy them? Um, they say, um, let me get closer so you can try to see that. They say Gymshark along the side. Um, and I did get the Hypersport shirt. So it does have that like same similar design. So it has the Gymshark down on both sides. Which, no? Oh, only on one side? Actually, I didn't know that. I thought it was on both. It does have a just a straight black logo though. It's like a 3D printout. So I'm kind of scared that that will come off. So I might not even dry these shorts in um, the washer. I'll probably hang dry these just in case to keep the logos on. These are nice. They don't have like a thick band. They just have like a nice simplistic band. But they're really like air, like breathable. Maybe that's the term. Like um, you don't, I don't even know what I'm trying to describe. It's just like it doesn't, absorb sweat like bad like it absorbs it well and you're not gonna like overheat in these so it's breathable i guess is the term i'm trying to go with you can see there's like mesh in the back area a little bit too if you can see that little mesh and like the band is also meshy so hyper sport shorts and then let's see this is the shirt i think i have one more pair of shorts in there i should no no never mind i think this is it this is yeah this is it okay this is everything Hyper Sport shirt, have yet to wear it, has a tag on, and same thing I said, it's got the black, like, uh, logoing down the side of it, just vertically saying Gymshark, and it's got a nice little raised logo, just like the shorts do, so I'm probably also gonna hang dry this shirt, just in case, to keep the logo on, which, if you're ever scared of a shirt, like, with something like that, 95% of the time, not even 95, 99% of the time, you should probably hang dry your stuff. Unless it oversized fits you a little bit and you want to shrink it, like Alpha Elite does for me, I say hang dry it. But all up to you. Sometimes you don't have the time to. But I'm going to try on only some of my favorite outfits that I've tried yet. Because I haven't tried all this. Like I said, I did save it mostly for the video. But I will put on my favorite outfits just for you guys to see what they look like on me. Just for you guys to get a feel. Um, I'll go over my stats real quick, actually. Just... So you guys know before I try everything on, I'm about 5'10", 170 pounds right now. And um, is that all you, that's all you really need to know, 170, 5'10". So now I'm going to start trying all this stuff on. So that's your reference for whatever it looks on me. I wear a size small and literally everything I wear, I buy a size small. So never size up for me because everything gets too long on Gymshark or just extremely baggy, like a size up. So I'm going to try my stuff on so you guys can see what that looks like. Okay. Red Apollo shirt, like I said, one of my favorites. Wear it all the time. This is how it fits. Nothing special. Just one of my favorite shirts. And I do like wearing the joggers with it. These are the Ray joggers. You probably can't see because it's too close. But also, I think my camera's going to die any minute now. So this is this joggers. This is the shirt. I'm not going to try on the same shirts. So I'll just switch like different, entirely different. So I'll try something else on. All right. This is the Arrival long sleeve tee and the reset shorts i just put them on because they have the gray layer right there so i figured that would kind of look good together but i like these shirts like i said nice squat day shirts shorts so easy to absorb your sweat really breathable really meshy so you won't be overheating in this and then i'll try on i think two more outfits just for you guys to get another see of the stuff on me all right this is hyper sport on hyper sport so these are the hyper sport shorts and this is a hyper, hyper sport shirt. It's so hard for me to get that out. Um, this is mainly like all polyester, so super breathable, as I would figure a sports shirt would be. Um, it's really tight around the arms, so that's nice. Makes me feel real buff. Um, but it is also kind of tight around the gut area too. So like, it's not like super tight, it's pretty breathable. You could do activities in it, obviously. Main purpose for all this clothing, but that's the back. I showed it earlier. 
looks nice. I think this shirt's pretty cool. Um, I didn't want the Hypersport joggers to see what those are like, but I wasn't able to buy a pair of those sold out too fast. So um, I do really like the shorts. I wear the shorts quite a bit. I haven't worn the shirt yet. As you can see, the tag is still on there, but I will be able to wear the shirt now that I've shut everything off. Um, I will just try on the, the base layer shirt and the stringer just for you guys to get a reference of those two. And then we'll be done with the video. I'm pretty gosh darn positive that I have the intro to this from me filming everything I purchased when the launch went live. I'm pretty sure I have that recorded, so that'll be the intro to this. If not, then it'll just pick up with me picking up the bag that I already have open, so. All right, this is the base layer t-shirt. I didn't switch any shorts out. Um, the other thing I do not like about the base layer t-shirt is that it's extremely long on the arms. Oh, I hit myself in the face. But I do like to pull it up a little bit. But obviously, for people, it might bother them, the length, and having like these crink, Wrinkles, 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 the wrinkles there. Also, super duper long as well. Like I said, that's why I never size up on Gymshark because it is so lengthy. Like literally, it is down to my, my crotch. That is extremely long. So I usually tuck these shirts in if I'm gonna wear them. And like I said, it's super tight. So gotta keep the core real nice and tight flex to make yourself look skinny or else if you do that, push out your gut, you're gonna look nice and chubby. So yeah, this shirt, you gotta have the confidence to wear it, and also uh, be tall. I don't know. I think these shirts, the shirts are like super lengthy. That's the only thing I really don't like about the tighter stuff is it shows when it's super long. Cause the shirt, some of the shirts do go down to here, but like regular shirts, like the Apollo ones, do just fit up perfectly nice. So those are nice. This is the only complaint I have about the shirt is the length. That's it. Obviously, I knew this was gonna be tight, so I bought it knowing that. So I don't have a problem with the tightness. I just have a problem with the length of the arms and the length of the shirt, but tuck it in, pull it up. It's a basic shirt. So I'm gonna try on the stringer and that's the last item. Okay, infill stringer, last item, like I said, it would be um, nothing really to the stringer if you already watched my other videos. Stringer, best fit that I've gotten from Gymshark so far. Um, when it comes to like this area um, by the chest, cause usually in videos, these things shift over. I mean, for me personally, they still shift over a lot doesn't matter if I'm wearing like a super nice tight stringer or not, they'll still shift. So doesn't matter. The only ones that I found that don't do that, which I could care less about that, but like I know some of you guys might like that, might not like that, um, or the Alpha Elite ones because they're so thick that like they don't really shift around. Like they still do shift and with enough, they will shift to move out and one of my nipples will show, so I'll have a nip slip moment. But um, hopefully does do the thicker things so they don't slip around as much they stay on tighter and they are just thicker they cover more area so if they do so like start moving you're not gonna see the your chest start popping out um, that's basically it though I've reviewed every single item I didn't put everything on because everything else is like the same thing you guys already saw a shirt is a shirt I just tried on different elements of different things to make sure I showed you at least one of each of everything I've got um, so that's basically the review I am gonna try to film one more video today on uh, Alpha Elite, not even my Alpha Elite haul, just like some stuff I have to complain about Alpha Elite. So if you guys do wanna watch that, it'll probably be on my channel within the next few days because I should be getting my package in and I wanna film this video before I get my package. But um, this video will come out today. Um, I don't really ask for likes or comments, but I do want um, some feedback in the comments section on whether you guys actually like me doing these hauls and like on showing all the items I get and like Give my opinions on Gymshark and Alpha Elite, like clothing, on what you guys should get, what you guys should try to avoid. Like, um, the video I'm going to put on Alpha Elite is going to be um, basically about, like, the concerns and problems I have with Alpha Elite and why I'm probably going to stop buying Alpha Elite as much. And um, so if you guys are, like, interested, obviously, um, that'll be up eventually. So I just want to have feedback on if you guys do like seeing different things like besides just me working out because I know I do when I do workout videos they're usually just like a straight like a two minute intro max to just a six minute workout and usually not even an outro mostly anymore but I like I need more feedback because I want to start working on my videos to try to get um, more content into the videos instead of them just being like a basic like all right guys this is the workout we're going to do today end of the workout like I want to get to the point where I can make like nice long videos that have more story and depth to them than just uh, all right this is the workout do the workout that's the video i want to do more things with my channel besides that um so i do want feedback um that's basically all i'm asking for i don't need you to drop a like or anything like that or subscribe if you want to subscribe i don't care 
Um, but I, I just want feedback to know what I should continue to do with my channel if you guys do like seeing these videos. I know some of you guys will like the workouts only and some of you people will like the unboxings or a mix. Like That's why I want to get some feedback and just know what my audience likes or what people in general just like seeing on my channel so I can try to push that out more. Um, obviously, so far I haven't found any problems with Gymshark, so I probably will continue to buy Gymshark. But I'm going to try to slow down on buying clothes so much um, just because I have so much now that I shouldn't really need to buy. Obviously, when I see an item or two that I'm like, oh, yeah, I really like that. Like, it's only like one item here and there. I'm not going to try to like make huge hauls every like so often now. Um, I only did it recently mainly because all these things are coming out that are so unique. The only thing I don't like about Alphalete, actually, okay, that's a whole different that's a whole different video. But like I said, I'm gonna stop talking now. The video <laughs> the, the video is long. Um, but like I said, feedback that's all I need, and then you guys will get the next video that I'm probably gonna film pretty soon because I'm gonna try to get a few videos out. I probably will upload probably this next week a few times just because I do have like a little dry spells and my dry spells be like a week, which is nothing compared to like other people, but. I do have like short periods like that, but I'm going to upload a few times this week just because I need to get this video out. I need to get the other workout videos I have and I need to film the Alpha Lee one and then eventually the Alpha Lee haul, which should be in this later this week. But I'm going to uh, stop talking. I'm going to end this video now. So like I said, feedback in the comments, please. And then um, also, if you guys are still watching, comment what one of your favorite items was that you guys saw in this, this um, haul and or one of the items you guys personally purchased that you actually really enjoyed that I didn't have that you would have recommended I get and maybe I'll end up buying it on my own time when I go buy more items but that's all for this video I know it's super long so if you guys watch the whole thing through I really appreciate the view time and everything all the support so thank you guys for watching I'll catch you guys on the next one